Let's begin by talking about a Royal Commission into Veteran Suicide. It's something that you have been long calling for. Uh, the other day, you labelled Australia's military leaders nothing but political puppets. Do you stand by those comments? I certainly do, yes. They should come out and be honest about what is going on in the military, uh, what is happening, why we're having so many suicides in the military over the last few years, and come out and explain themselves. They're not going to be able to hide forever. We are right on their tail, and that's not just me. Uh, there'll be more stuff to come out in the future, and if they want this conducted in the proper man manner, then if they've got nothing to hide, then I, su I suggest that they... Uh, you know, show some courage and come out and stand up for those diggers and also call for a Royal Commission themselves. Enough's enough. What is the difference between a Royal Commission compared to what the government has already begun, this Commission of Inquiry? Why would the Royal Commission mean so much more? Uh, I think for us, first of all, with the... Um, uh, you know, going out, going on the outside and making sure that we got legal advice um, over the last few months in reference to this is it's not even going to stack up to what a Royal Commission is. The other thing um, is if it's if this commission stuff is so great, then why haven't they done for why haven't they done it for Royal Commissions in the past? And secondly, I think after you put a former brigadier and put her in that position, that trust went out the window from day one. So they have no other choice but to have a Royal Commission, unfortunately. They've made mincemeat out of this right from the beginning. All right. Let's move on now. The, uh, the other thing is just I oh, just sorry, just the other thing is I can tell you now, I will not get those members that are serving in uniform, have the trust and confidence to come forward and stand in front of a commissioner. They want to stand in camera in front of a Royal Commissioner. Otherwise, we're not going to get them and we're never going to get to the bottom of what is happening, not just under Veterans Affairs, but also in defence. OK, well, it's certainly a big issue, but let's move on now. I want to discuss the vaccine rollout with you. The Prime Minister is now saying that mass vaccination sites could be open across the country in the coming months to try and speed up Australia's rollout. Do you think that this is the answer? <laughs> I think you've actually got to have the vaccines mm. before you can have these mass sites. True. So I think we're all having a bit of a giggle this morning going, there's no point in having sites if you haven't got anything to inject into anybody. Um, you know, so what I would hate to see is get all these sites organised and they still haven't got the vaccines um, organised and people are still growing hope that they're going to get their vaccinations um, before Christmas and that actually doesn't happen. So it would be nice if, if they could just cement in a date that they're going to have those vaccines in the country so then we can start rolling them out. I think most people, you know, have spent the last few months expecting these vaccines to be coming in and they haven't. And I think you'll find pretty much right around the country, they're pretty much organised um, to go when they're given the signal to go. Scott Morrison says we're now on a warlike footing. He's called National Cabinet to meet twice a week now. Uh, Senator, do you think that this is an acknowledgement that something is critically wrong with the rollout? Um, I think what is critically wrong is that um, they put all their hopes and dreams on, on one place. They did not extend themselves out to make sure that if if a vaccine fell over from where they were purchasing it else uh, from somewhere else, um, that there was something to back it up, and they did not do that. I think they got too cocky from the beginning, and that's why they've lost out. It's pretty embarrassing. Um, Australia is standing in the world, and we're pretty well, well respected across the world, um, you know, that we still have not got these vaccines in the country so we can um, make sure that our own Australians are protected. Uh, I'm not sure if the Prime Minister and his Cabinet and his Health Minister cannot organise this what does he expect the states to do? It's not like they can just ring every country out there and ask for them. This is the Prime Minister and the Health Minister's responsibility and they have failed to do that job. So stop wasting time, get on your phones and find where we can get those goddamn vaccines from. Goodness me. All right. Well, it's certainly a big issue. Time will tell when we'll be able to return to some normality. Now, just finally, Jackie Lambie, uh, we've seen this video emerge of dancing, twerking at the HMAS Supply Commission. I believe we do have some vision of that. Uh, do you think that this was appropriate? 
Um, you know, I had a lot of female veterans after the comments were, that were made by the CDF about them leaving base and their attractiveness and basically asking for it because that's that's how they took his reply about six weeks ago. And then you've got um, a female dance troupe. And, and trust me, don't get me wrong, uh, I'm good on them for building their self-confidence up, but it probably belongs, you know, at a Super Bowl or something like that, not standing in front of a naval ship. Um, we've still got um, pretty much massive issues going on in the defence forces when it when it becomes to uh, abuse and sexual abuse. So having this, I tell you what, uh, was not a very good move and whoever was responsible for that needs to be held responsible uh, needs to be held responsible for their actions. And I um, only hope that uh, they are being dealt with in the correct manner. But, you know, I think what it comes down for me is when we have our own children serving and we've got leaders that are making decisions like that to put those dance troops out in front of our warships, I have to ask. Um, I, it really makes me concerned about who's going to lead. When, when If we have to go to war, are they the same people who are going to lead our kids into war? Because, quite frankly, uh, it's very concerning for me. Well, it's certainly uh, making national headlines. Senator Jackie Lambie, we have to leave it there. Thank you for joining me this morning. Thank you very much for having me on. And if you or someone you know in the defence community needs support, please reach out to one of the organisations on your screen, including Open Arms, the Defence Family Helpline or Lifeline.